okay, Derek says it's FOMO, right? I, I, I think it's, yeah, FOMO is really true, right? I mean, a typical, it's a supply and demand question, right? Supply and demand question. Right. So if there's if there's too much of a supply and then too much of a supply of anything good, it becomes a, a something that's bad, becomes bad, right? Yeah, so it's a, it's a demand and supply thing, right? At the end of the day. Then another thing is, uh, do people really see true value in it, right? It's, it's a perception thing, right? So some people see true value in like collecting wine. Some people collect Rolex watches, right? Some people like to collect boats, yachts, maybe Ferraris, this and that. Yeah, so that creates a demand, you see. Like, it, it's pulled by, by perception in that case, right? And I think another factor is we have to, I mean, on behalf of the community again, right, is like you want to always be where there is some form of uh, real utility, right? You don't want to be on just like some NFT that is, you know, just based on the graphics, for example, right? You know, like right. you just buy a nice piece of picture and then that's it, right? That, that nice piece of picture doesn't mean it's, it's bad or anything. You just have to have some real, you have to have some intrinsic value, right? Like Mona Lisa is great, one of a kind. See, supply and demand theory, right? So awesome, right? Like you want to own a Mona Lisa, you want to own a real Mona Lisa because there's just one, right? Yeah, so that's, just... and by owning that, it gives you the feeling of, you know, you are, you know, like you're on top of the world, just like how people. That's, and that's the reason why people want to buy Rolex watches, cars, islands, and all that stuff, right? Yeah. So that creates demand for it. And the higher the demand, or rather, the lesser the supply, the higher the demand, the higher the price. Yeah. So if you figure out how to, if you if you master this formula, right, you probably understand, or, or you you would probably know what NFTs to buy after a while, right? And you probably know which one can go can go down the drain really fast also if you follow that formula.